It's one of the country's most popular festivals and one of its oldest, but yet again, Kerry's annual POC Fair has come under attack from animal rights activists. The controversy centres on the treatment of a wild goat as the centrepiece of the fair. It's day two in Kalorglin, traditionally fair day, and the town's famous King Puck is lowered from his perch 20 metres above for his daily vet check. With this 400-year-old tradition of capturing a wild mountain goat, crowning him king and keeping him in a cage for three days has once again come under fire. We feel that tradition should never be used to justify animal suffering. We want the Puck Fair to continue on for another 400 years, but we feel in this day and age the animal should be taken out of the fair. But organisers say the welfare of the animal is paramount. During the three days that he's here, he's taken down and walks around and while he's up there he's fed uh, the best of foods and again he's examined by the vet before he goes off. It's such a historic event here but we are ensuring that the goat is getting the very best of treatment. King Puck used to be all about its nighttime revelries, but these days it's much more of a family event, with tens of thousands of visitors leaving an estimated 7 million euro in the local economy. But what do these visitors make of the living tradition that is King Puck? I was a bit surprised, but uh, no, I mean, you know, anything in Ireland, it all goes, doesn't it? Why? why? Somebody is... Uh, uh, a Puck, for, a ghost. Uh, the Puck, OK? Yes. Three days. Three days. Hey, why? I've been reading some of the articles about the, with the animal rights activists. And of course, when you read something like that, it does make you think. But where you have this long tradition clashing with kind of modern thinking. But I'm mostly enjoying it at the moment. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Kilorglin, County Kerry.